Hey there internet, today we're going to be doing a tutorial in Adobe After Effects CS5 is what I'm doing it in, but I'm sure you can do it in some of the lower versions. We're going to be using the Video Copilot's Sure Target preset. You just go to their website, click Tutorials and After Effects presets, you can download it here for free, just download it into your After Effects presets folder. And this is what it looks like just the camera movement from one target to the next it rotates with the text and it looks cool in my opinion if you don't think it looks cool then uh, you might as well just stop watching this tutorial now because you're just going to waste your time so we're going to make a new comp and I'm just going to copy the background I had if you like the particles I made a tutorial on that tutorial and you can go watch that so we're just gonna start making the text one two and We're going to move the particles above the text layers, and we're just going to shut it off for now. So, we have to make sure we set those as 3D layers, and move these to the middle. I don't know why mine always start in the corner now. I must have accidentally defaulted it maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna fix it. So then we're just gonna go to custom view and this will just help us set it up to how we want it to be made. I'm just gonna move that over there up a little. Move this one up here. This way. Down some. Now we're going to go to the 3, transform, and we're just going to rotate it around. Now we're going to go to 2, and we'll just rotate that one this way. That looks good. Now we're going to go back to active camera, and I don't really want that 2 right there, so I'm going to back that up. So I got one here, here, and here. And then this down to the middle. Alright. Then we're going to get started with the sure target. We're going to layer. We have to make a camera. It doesn't matter what millimeter lens. And we have to make a null object. We're just going to call that sure target. Uh oh. Didn't go. Let's try again. Oh boy. Alright, that was weird. Let's do this again. Camera. Null object. Now we can name it Sure Target. Make sure you make that a 3D layer. We're going to parent the camera to Sure Target. And now we're going to go to Animation Presets, Video Copilot down the sure target and just drag that onto the sure target null object thing. And we're going to make sure you check these. You don't have to check this one unless you want a um, if, for, if you check this one it's just going to ease the movement and the telephone is ringing. Don't know who that is. Alright, so we're just going to set these. First target, the T's are the targets. So we're just going to make that 1, 2, 3. And now to, it, you notice if you move this, it doesn't move. You have to animate that. So you just go down to the effects, slider, 
move forward a second, make a keyframe again, move it forward about half a second, change it to two, move forward a second, set a keyframe, then half a second, change it to three, and then another second, keyframe it. So now you have a little bit of movement. And those are kind of right behind each other. So we'll just move the two this way and the one that way. And then to, if you want to see more of the animation, and these are just all over the place. Oh. Select two, move that out of the way. Alright. So if you want to see more of the animation, just turn on the particles. And you can see it zoom flies through and then flies out. You can kind of see where the particles end here. So we can just fix that. Right there. Okay, so one, two, three. Um then you can turn on the motion blur for the particles and the text layers. Make sure you check it here. And um for the camera, the little wiggle, you have to do an expression, just select it, hit P, Alt to click on the stopwatch, and type wiggle, spell it right, 0.4 comma 200 end parentheses. Basically what that says is it'll wiggle 0.4 times in a second, and it'll wiggle 200 pixels. So now you got a slight wiggle in there, and then it flies through and then you have three. Okay, so I just RAM previewed it, rendered it for RAM preview, and this is what it looks like. You can fine tune it, like right here you can see the particles end, so you can just fix that, and if you want to you can move it out of the way so you can't see it, and you can even fade it off when it's in the background so you can't see it, like that can be faded, and then that can be faded. So it's just a uh, very universal I guess you could say but um thanks for watching if you liked it and it helped you subscribe or like the video or something just do something and uh thanks for watching this is Zach from Ray Brian Sports